Hi, I'm Dov S.S. Simmons. Welcome to webfilmschool.com. In the previous lesson, segment number 53, you learned something about financing by pre-selling at a film market like Cannes. This segment, or this lesson, is going to be financing also another method with ads or little things that are called product placements. Let's go to the clipboard. Let's get into some information. Lesson number 54, financing with product placement. What are product placements? They're what are called logo IDs or product demos or sources of financing of products. It's like little ads that are inserted within your movie. When you see somebody pick up a Coca-Cola or eat a candy and it's Reese's Peanuts. Now, when did this start? Actually, this started approximately 60 years ago with the movie It's a Wonderful Life. When Jimmy Stewart picked up a magazine, National Geographic, and made that magazine sell so many more issues the next week on the newsstand after it came out. But everybody in the modern era started realizing this with the movie E.T. when it was Reese's Little Peanut Butter Candy that was laid out there. And of course we all know about in every James Bond movie with what the car is. Let's go today. Let's see where this massive industry has grown and it's even growing more and more in financing feature films. Let's go to a recent movie of the last year. Take a look at Rush Hour 3. Look on the screen. There were 13 at least products in that movie that you didn't realize you noticed. Now, let's look at another one. Wow, was this amazing. The Bourne series, Bourne Ultimatum. There were more than 40 items in there, product placements that you didn't realize you saw, that gave the production company anywhere from 100000 to $300,000 each to just get their little three-second logo in there. Now, what can a producer get? Let's talk some money. Product placements. Let's talk some money. First off, if you're Coca-Cola, you're Chrysler, if you take a 30-second TV commercial and it gets a 2 rating, which is 2.2 million households, and the ad costs $50 CPM, that's cost per thousand, then that 30-second ad with a 2 rating costs the advertiser $100,000 for the commercial. Now, what about a product placement in a movie, not a TV show? If this product gets a three-second ID and the box office it did $50 million at box office, the movie, ticket price was $10, that means there were 5 million viewers, two to three times more than that two rating that the TV ad got, and selling at a $20 CPM, that's $100,000 per movie. Wow. Product placement, there's logic for why the advertisers want to pay for this stuff. So product placement revenues in feature films, just about every studio feature film garnishes a million to ten million dollars or ten to twenty percent of the budget. And remember, TiVo, DVR, zapping. The more that those television ads zap, the more advertisers are going to start financing feature films with product placement. But you need a reality check. First off, it's not really for you, no-budget, first-time filmmakers. You've got to be an established producer like Spielberg, Lucas, or Bruckheimer. You've got to be able to promise 2,000 prints in 2,000 theaters for three weeks. Then you'll get the big money. Now, take a look on the screen for a lot more information about product placement. Here are some websites that give it to you. Now, here's the bottom line for you, the first-time filmmaker. If you will put the product in your movie, but you can't guarantee distribution, you will probably get, if it's Coca-Cola, maybe they'll give you 40 cases of soda. If it's Ray-Ban glasses, they'll get you 30 pair of glasses. But don't expect big money. But for Warner Brothers and Paramount and Spielberg and Lucas, they get big money. So here's what you just found out. From the segment before, 50 to 60% of your financing is from pre-sale, and another 10 to 20% of your financing is more than likely from product placement. Wow. Now let's go to a wrap-up. Now here's what you've learned. 
product placement is an integral part of film financing for the major studios and the big budget producers today. And today it is approximately 10 to 20 percent of the budget of feature films. In the previous lesson, lesson number 53, I showed you how to get 50 to 60 percent of your financing by foreign sales. Now an additional 10 to 20 percent of the financing will come from product placements. And by the way, as TiVo and digital video recorders, DVRs get more and more, and television commercials get zapped more and more, this is going to grow product placement to 20 to 40 percent of the financing of feature films. But in order to get this, you have to be able to guarantee decent sized distribution of your feature film with at least 2,000 prints and 2,000 movie theaters for at least three weeks. And I don't think you're Spielberg or Lucas or Scorsese or Warner Bros. that can guarantee that. But if you can, you also have to make sure the product that you're using is used properly. You use the can of soda as a can of soda and you just drink it. You don't use the can of soda and break it as it's a barroom weapon. Now, reality for you, first-time filmmaker that can't guarantee 2,000 prints in 2,000 theaters, is product placement's nice, but I don't know if you're going to get that money, but at least get the soda manufacturer, if you're going to put the product in there for a logo ID, to give you 30 cases of soda for the crew while you're making the feature film. You just got one of the steps of financing. The next step of financing coming up, lesson number 55, is another 20 to 30 percent of the financing coming from government tax incentives. Let's cut to the chase. Anyone can produce, write, or direct a feature film given the basic information, and I do it with my amazing two-day film school. I do the two-day film school 40 times a year in different cities around the world. And by the way, if you can't wait or you can't attend the two-day film school, everything you need is right here with the 16 DVD lesson DVD film school. Now, you want to launch your career? It's up to you. Happy filmmaking. Take action.